My name is Fred Hurt. Um, I'm down here in uh, Jean Lafitte, Louisiana. A lot of time I spent down here. About 35 years I was down here on the bayou. Down south of New Orleans. About 30 miles, 25, 30 miles down. We had a, a series of floods that happened down here in uh, Jean Lafitte, uh, starting with uh, Katrina in uh, 2005. But it's since then, it's been a kind of a series of floods here and there. And um, these people are still trying to recover from this. And they're taking all kind of measures to uh, remedy that situation. It's a vibrant little town. Got a lot of traffic still running around all over the place. We got the churches, we got the town halls, we got the post office, uh, we got the grocery stores, the police department, the library, the multi-purpose centers. Uh, it's quite a, quite a place. Uh, it's basically a fishing village, a shrimping, doing a lot of shrimping, uh, a lot of oil related uh, industry here. Um, also, as a community, a lot of people come down here and retire uh, from New Orleans area in Mattery, uh, Jefferson Parish, because it's got some of the best fishing in the world right here. Quite, quite the situation here. We always said that uh, we were um, 30 minutes from downtown New Orleans, but decades away from their problems. Kind of a little bit of a, almost like a throwback to the, way back in the 20s and 30s. Kind of um, got some sophistication, but it's still some of the old school down here. A lot of the old school. I used to be pretty uh, active in the uh, civic uh, situation around here. We raised money for schools, uh, Fisher High School absolutely one of the best schools in Jefferson Parish. People want to go to school in Fisher High School. Quite a place. It uh, had very high marks uh, academically and uh, good teachers, good school, principal. Quite a nice little city here. Town of Jean Lafitte uh, might have uh, oh, there are 4,000 people in it, but in the surrounding community, there might be about 5,000 people. There consists of a main island of Jean Lafitte. This is the town, township area. Further down, they just call it Lafitte. On the other side of the bayou is called Barataria. Basically, uh, got the name from, uh, from the old pirate uh, Jean Lafitte, where he hung out uh, down in Grand Terre and in Barataria where the old pirates hang, hung out. If you don't know anything about Jean Lafitte, uh, Jean Lafitte helped out uh, Andrew Jackson during the War of 1812 to defeat the British in New Orleans. His uh, residence basically was about 10, 15, about 10 miles south of here on uh, Grand Chenier. That island is just barely there anymore, but he hung out there a lot they used to, used to be able to drive a buggy and a horse right up to it. And he sold all his pirated goods to all the people from New Orleans. That just The good people from New Orleans just came down there in droves and bought all that stuff without the tax. <laughs> in some ways, this place is a little bit the same way. It's uh, kind of a wild spirited place. Reminds me, I guess, uh, a little bit like a little bit mining and got that old pioneer spirit to it still. We really like that. Tell you what, I'd like to kind of just take you around here and uh, show you a little bit of how uh, people live and uh, some of the remedies they're doing to accommodate all this flooding. What has happened? The sea level has come up just a little bit. The ground, overall ground situation is actually sinking just slightly. 
So it makes a bad combination. Things that were 10 years ago, 10 years ago, we never had floods like this down here, never. But uh, now it seems to be a common occurrence because the water is higher, the land is a little lower, and uh, it's creating problems. So people are remedying that. They're quite resourceful here. They said, hey, we're not gonna move. We're gonna stay here. We are born and raised here. So what do they do? They just jack their residents up a little higher. So let's go take a look and see what, uh, how these people live down here. This is an example of a uh, lugger boat built in 1939. This is, uh, they did a little bit of shrimping and a little bit of oyster work. And they did crabbing. And many, many a family right here in Lafitte grew up on one of these boats. And uh, these are uh, more of the, this is the old style boat, call them luggers. The Lafitte skiff has replaced these, uh, and we'll show you some examples of that quite shortly here. Yep, a few of them are still there. This used to be a marina. Had pilings up here, big awning, boat slips and everything. They just pretty well just knocked out everything out here. You can see this is from the last flood right here. Some of the grass sitting on that old boat there. The old pelican sitting out there nesting away. All this area on the other side over on the Barataria side, that's uh, an area that all the people from uh, the New Orleans area all came down and retired and built them, uh, they call them camps. But you can see that uh, the camps turn into to uh, modern living facilities, some large houses over in that area. I built uh, almost all of the bulkheads, uh, seawalls, if you want to call it that, bulkheads along this whole area over there. <coughs> and about half of the structures that hold those houses up, all the concrete pilings. Check out the old cormorant there in the, in the water, swimming. All you see is a head sticking up just about. <laughs> Joe and Sid down there got a really nice marina down there. I was going to show you where I lived, but uh, unfortunately it is no longer here. I live right in this area, right here. They had all the pilings and everything. As you can see across the canal right there is all tore off, just in total disrepair. I had a little apartment that I lived out here over the water. And all this out in that area was all my front yard. Beautiful sunrises yeah things change down here on the bayou quite a bit sunk boats here and there just everything's kind of derelict out here right now used to be a real vibrant machine area here they had all kinds of little crew boats working in and out of here now all you see is they sunk out here and everything is gone the roofs are in disrepair trees are knocked down all these trees they used to have some beautiful oak trees right here on the end of the area right out here. Wow. 
quite a bit changed on the bayou. Kind of looking at my old house that I lived in down here. I moved away uh, the year before Katrina hit down here. Tell you what, why don't we go back here and see if uh, Tom and Elaine is here. Maybe Tom is here. We'll go down there and see. Oh yeah, he's here. Hey Tom, how you doing? Uh, hello, Fred Hurt. How, how you doing? doing? I'm great. How All you right. Been? I heard y'all got a little water down here for this last thing. Well, yes, we did. <laughs> yes, again. Again? Uh, yeah. Just how'd y'all make time. out for Katrina? Katrina was okay. It was uh, it was the wind more than the water. Yeah. But uh, Rita, which was right after. Yeah. That's when we got the water. Yeah, and then y'all got it last year. What is it? Hi, Isaac. Um, well, yeah, but before a... Isaac, there was uh, Ike, another ah. superstorm that struck uh, Texas, I suppose, wow. uh, right there on the border. But we had about six inches of water for for Ike, and then again this last year, it was wow. uh, Isaac. What you reckon you're going to do about it? Well, what you Because it seems to be a repeated thing now. I don't know what's happening, whether the whole land is sinking, the water's coming up. I think it's a combination. Well, I don't here, know. Here's the thing. The parish has awarded us, because of the severe repetitive loss, they've awarded us a grant to elevate this house. Wow. And they are supposed to go up. Now, are you talking about just the house or the slab? They're talking about raising the whole doggone thing. Wow. This thing got 57 pilings under it. That's I know I that. <laughs> 57 pilings underneath this house. I guess they, what are they going to do? Cut them off? and raise the whole thing. That's correct. Tell you what, walk out here and take a look at this house. This thing, I know when I was designing this thing, I just wanted it to kind of, I don't know, I don't know what I wanted it to look like. Well, it, <laughs> but it turned it out just looks fine. It like, like a Victorian lady, uh, I guess. So. I don't know what it is, but. Uh, it's a little, uh, uh, got what? a few things that are like Victorian, and then there are uh, some that are, uh, well, you got the Dutch hip out here on the front. And a little bit of Cajun. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, and I, wanted, I just wanted something a little bit different. So uh, that's what we built out here. Say, is the walkway still good out there? It sure is. I had to put a couple boards on it, but, uh, well, let's go take a look. All right, let's do that. I mean, it's not as it's not as pretty as it used to be. Well, but, uh, it's well once you get a flood and it's in uh, early uh, spring. We haven't got spring out full yet. Right. Well, once it comes back, it'll be all back the same way. We lost we lost quite a lot of uh, trees, as you can see. There's hardly anything. wow. They're all down now. There's hardly anything for a windbreak, and uh, I haven't really done much outside at all because I've been working on the inside ever since uh, since August. Okay. So uh, I got a lot of work out here, as you can see. All right. Wow, I can see everything floated up and busted up here. Yeah, I still got. Uh, I need to walk the marsh and pick up a bunch of them. Been underwater. People used to. Yeah, the pe people used to come out here and just marvel at this walkway out here. They couldn't believe this was out here well, the, to see all the. Uh, the iris is going to be up. Yeah. Now. Yeah. See the duck potato and the three corner grass is coming back. All right, good. And yeah, then, once this you oyster get oyster grass, I bet you didn't have a lot of oyster grass when no. you lived here. No, it, I didn't. It's like came in with the uh, with the salt water. It's kind of like salt. Yeah, the old salt. I call it saw grass uh, type stuff or salt grass. Well, the, the, all the old guys that uh, I camp with out there in the uh, bay, they call that oyster grass. Okay. That's 
Whoo, the, uh, I see the uh, wind is blowing all the water out of the bayou. Oh, oh look at yeah. all the egrets out there. Yeah. Oh, they're all excited. Oh, look at the egrets out there. Yeah, they had a couple Beautiful. of, couple of uh, pelicans out there earlier this morning. Did you ever get any alligators back up in here? I, uh, I usually have one or two come and visit uh, every season. Yeah. Um, the biggest one oh. I've, I've seen had to go about 12 foot or something like that. And he wow. was, he was uh, the last flood. He was out here in between uh, my house and the one next door. Yeah, we used to have a few of them. Man, the old swing is still here. Yep. Is it still in good shape? Oh, yeah, we can sit on it. All I did, had to do was uh, put some new chains on it. Oh, man. <laughs> I remember sitting out here. I got pictures with me and Dustin sitting out here on this thing. Really? Yeah. That's pretty neat. Uh, man, they had the water out here and a little bit when the young redfish were coming in here, when the redfish were coming up in here and spawning. Mm -hmm. And they had the garfish come up in here and spawn. They'd have thousands of garfish, and the way they spawn is they, they're like snakes. They, they roll over each other, make great gigantic balls, and they just play together wow. out there. Yeah, I've seen that happen. Uh, I saw that happen a couple times. I haven't seen that. But and the egrets come out and they sit out here and they, uh, oh, they walk around out there and do whatever they do. We've been getting uh, a lot of uh, a lot of ducks lately. And Good. Not, not just the summer ducks, but uh, widgeons. I see okay. a lot of widgeons and uh, and well, there's. Uh, there's pull dew. There's there's a couple out there right now. I saw them. They, yeah. They, when when you come out, they don't really fly off, but they swim out of sight. Sure they do. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty neat. That's the little small egrets right there. But they boy, they got a bunch of the big ones that hang around here too. Well, man, it's a little slice of heaven out here. Yeah. <laughs> a little slice of paradise. That's I love the way it. I like to describe. Absolutely it. love it. I mean, I spent many many hour out here. It is so relaxing. I can't tell peaceful. you how much we appreciate this boardwalk here. It just makes such a big difference, uh, as opposed to everybody else's property. You know, yeah, I, it's like a place where I can escape to. Exactly. It, it's it's just like you're in a different world out here. All the old bayou out here. Yep. Nothing to see, but uh, all the way to the river. Yeah. Oh, you know, I wanted to tell you when the. Uh, when the cruise ship leaves on, uh, well, they leave on Sunday. Yeah. Sun you can see the cruise ship. It's so, uh, so big. It's so tall and yeah, so big. And it's all lit up, too, yeah. with all the lights. You can I'll watch be. the cruise by. It's usually about 6 o'clock, uh, yeah. 6.15 in there. Yeah, the river is, what, about six miles over six there? Six miles. Right where you see that smoke over there, that's, uh, what's that? What that's the, uh, it, it's refinery. the old Re Alliance refinery over there. Yep. It's the BP refinery. Now. Yep, yep. Now, Conchero's Marina, boy, is that totally wiped out. I mean, it is wiped out. You know, North Dakota has got a lot of uh, exactly what the people here in the, on the bayou have got. You know, they get up and take care of themselves right now. And uh, that's right. so uh, it's, uh, that's just the way people are there. And they're the same thing here on the bayou. Oh, I went, my truck is new too. <laughs> every time every time the water comes up, I get a new truck. <laughs> yeah, the old, uh, boy, I, I'll tell you what, I was glad to build that shed right there, too. That shed was, uh, when, well, of course, when I did that, it was uh, kind of in a swamp just a little bit. <laughs> it still is, but it's been a little yeah. bit out. Yeah. But I see you've done some real improvements on that thing, really nice. Yeah, I just, uh, well... I strung a wire up over there to it so I could, you know, have light and, yep. uh, and some electrical outlets, and, and that's about it, really. Yeah. I moved the uh, the water line out there to it, but I never really did anything. Okay, I understand. Of, you know, connecting the uh, yeah, side yeah. or anything like that. Got my Shoot, look like you need you need your little uh, wind generator sticking up there somewhere. I know it wouldn't yeah. be a bad idea. I thought yeah. about it, but uh, wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah. All right, man, that's great, terrific. Man, you be you a good film guy. <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah. Let's take a look at your uh, 
sculpture out here. This thing, I'll tell you what, this thing's still here, isn't it? Yeah, I need to do some work on it. No, that thing looks great. Oh, hey, this stuff was underwater. I salvaged these out. I salvaged uh, these anchors out in, uh, down by Grand Isle. I drug these anchors out. No kidding. Yeah. Well, that's uh, good. I mean, you see, now you're providing me with a little provenance. Oh, okay. It's got some prominence on it. Yeah. <laughs> well, not only that. Now, uh, maybe the statute of limitations is over with. I can well, tell yeah, you. I can tell I know, you. I, I can tell you where these stones come from. I have a feeling they, they, they uh, came out of the city. They come out of New Orleans. These are curb stones. Curb stones. That's okay. exactly what that is. They they carved them and they set them up. They they polished the very two or three inches of them. The rest of them stuck vertical. That's before they made curves, but they literally were curb stone. That's what these little plates were right here. And these, uh, these blocks, uh -huh. these blocks came off from under, about this far under Poydre Street. Wow. They completely paved Poydre Street with these uh, granite blocks. Wow. And I wound up with three or four of them. And uh, I made, uh, the, it was incredible. Well, they were using them for uh, ballast stones in ships oh, back okay. in the uh, 17 and 1800s. No kidding. And that's what was in it. So they had to get rid of them. They took them. I mean, there's no rocks in Louisiana. Not in South Louisiana. <laughs> <laughs> Not granite but, anyway, right? Nope. And uh, that's what they were. They were ship ballast. And they're paved, completely paved all up and down uh, Poydre Street. So, but it's under the pavement about a foot right now. Wow. But I know because I had to dig a bunch of them up because we did a bunch of sewer repairs down mm -hmm. there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah. Look like a valve, valve off of a either a pipeline or something around here. Remember what any of that was? Yep. I forgot what they call it. Uh, they're they're yacht. They're called yachtman yachtsman anchors. That's the old style with the bars through them and all of that to make sure they grabbed. Pretty neat, pretty neat stuff. Well, Tom, Thanks really again. good meeting. You. you take it. care, and uh, we'll see you again. And good luck on raising that whole house up. That right. is going to be an amazing sight to see that thing completely raised up. And how high uh, you got to go? Well, they said um, the latest LSU Ag site, the uh, the digital. Yeah. Uh, they call it a deep yeah. firm map. The elevation here is, uh, we're in plus flood, 11, plus 12, Four plus 12, plus 12, oh. and it's a VE zone, which means the VE zone means that the house, the lowest structural member of the house, and that'll be the grade beams. Wow. Have to be at plus 12. That house is going to, so, it's, uh, let's yeah. put it this way. You're going to be looking at that house. How are you going to get up there? Well, they, they, the, uh, contractors have to supply uh steps and they have to put put railings okay and, yeah so where's gonna, your elevator well i'm gonna have to supply <laughs> the elevator myself but uh, uh yeah you know there's a fella that lives down the bayou that way that does that yes and, he uh, does and, uh, i met I'm him the other day him. and i told him i said uh, you know years ago i was going to make elevators here but i was thinking the liability might be a little more than i could afford so uh, <laughs> i didn't do it well, he just oh. made one for our friend Pat Patterson. Yeah. And uh, if you go by Pat Patterson's house, you can see his brand new. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> All right. Well, good to see you again. All right. And we'll see you, you later. Stopped. All right. You take care now. Thank you very much. What a project. This was one of my neighbor's houses. You can see it was on a slab down on the ground. Evidently they've been get, catching quite a bit of water and to raise it up to a flood grade or Corps of Engineers grade that they've set. They're jacking these things up.
they do, they put uh, grade beams under here. And they go ahead and jack it and put uh, wood cribbing to uh, hold them up. I don't know if they're up to code just yet on there, but they're getting close. But it looks like to me they may have to go up a, another couple feet. How y'all making? Oh, we're doing good, man. Bishop's down here. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Hey, remember, I'm just, I'm just Freddy, though, man. Y'all doing all right? Doing good, my brother. All right, doing yeah. Doing good. How y'all doing? Miss you from being yeah. down here, man. Who, whose house is this? That's, uh, uh, what's his name now? Uh, let me think a little bit. Now, give me, Neil. A, now, give me his real, Neil. give me his real name, man. His real you name know. is Neil. So, so what's your nickname? I don't have a nickname. That's unusual. <laughs> what do they call you? They call me Shine. Shine. See? Uh, there ain't nobody. And they call me race car. In the yeah. Bayou. See? Hey, that's the thing. Ain't nobody on the bayou got t real names. No, that's no. right. Nobody. That's see, right. We all hiding out down here on the bayou. <laughs> that's right. So, well, so what brings you back over here, man? Oh, we had come down to do a little handshaking at the festival up the road up that's here awesome. that's and awesome and visit kids and grandkids and great grandkids that i haven't even met yet yeah that's oh, good wow. that's good I man a, i got girls going wild yeah you're right <laughs> so how did, how's everybody doing how's everybody everybody's oh, we, good yeah everybody doing just that's fine. good that's good man. yeah i when i pulled by yeah yeah i just did here for a couple more days whatever and uh how you like it up there in that cold weather man oh <laughs> so from living down here in the feet like, for so long i like living down here somewhere yeah <laughs> god i'm gonna tell you what it's a little tough to get you don't get used to it you just yeah. man you manage it yeah that's how yeah. you do yeah. that's all you yeah. do well yeah. we were doing we just what are y'all doing for what y'all had the houses flooded or no uh i didn't get i just had roof damage man i'm just working okay. on mine and you know, doing a little. I have a boat back in the feet here. And yeah. I come here every weekend to check on it. And yeah. I live in the city of Kenner, I guess you know what I said. Oh, I know Kenner, Louisiana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we were just kind of doing a few things, what people are doing about all the flooding that's going yeah. on now. Because yeah. every, I mean, what, uh, for 50 years, it never happened. Right. Uh, but now it seems like every every year or two you're getting a flood well, down there. Well, because they're putting all these levees up. Yeah. Ah, That's why. Okay. You know what I mean? You got a levee behind Myrtle Grove now. You have a levee over there. Well, another you know, thing. Uh, all the levees are, and, the, and the locks walls are killing us. Yeah, you think about it too, though, is uh, you've got uh, stuff like, I think water's coming up a little higher. Because I know when I started setting these bulkheads, the first ones I put in there, they're like this right now. Right, yeah. You know, they was yeah. up here. Oh, yeah. 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 The water coming up a little bit, but I think the whole area is sinking just is a sinking. little bit. It is so, sinking. So, combination of both. It is sinking. It's definitely sinking. Well, you don't have... You don't have yeah. nothing out there no more, Ted. Yeah. You know that. I, mean, I know you that. Know, you yeah. have Saturday Island. You had Cooper Bell. You had Full Bayou. There well, ain't nothing had, there. Had Manila Village, Manila Village. and Bossa Bossa and you know, all them old things. Now you can go straight through and straight across. You you know, know, I remember going down Bayou DuPont. Man, they had a nice canal down there. Yeah. You can't even find it no, no more. No, it's all okay. gone. You yeah. have no more land. The land's yeah. going out there, man. We the land now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make your own trail. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But it's sure good to see you, Ted. All right, man. It's good you to take see care. you, man. I tell All you right. what, bro. I've seen you on TV. I, Bonnie, hey, look. Bonnie told me, she, that looks like nice that. Nice you, Ted. Nice <laughs> here, look here. We're going we're gonna to do this right here. Look here. we got a couple of little cards awesome. here. Awesome. Awesome. There you go. go. That'll work. Yeah. All Thank right. You, there you Thank go. Thank you. Appreciate All right, a little momento there. All right. Y'all take you, care. You too, we'll see you guys. You're in the I neighborhood. What do y'all do? Y'all uh, what? Y'all going out trawling or what y'all going to do? I'm working on a tugboat right there in New Orleans. Okay. Yeah, I'm still All running right. the tugboat. Are well, you checking on your boat? Yeah, I'm going to go out in May. Okay. All right. Calling. Wait till the season, man. Oh, I can't wait. I miss it. Hey, boy, miss it? I'm making for it. I, I, I've been eating <laughs> them crawfish up? and I've been eat, eating <laughs> them oysters and uh, eat, eat, eat them huh? shrimp po' boys down here while I'm down here. <laughs> there you go. Okay. All right. Appreciate, Appreciate you guys. Thank you, man. All right. All right, Ted. Take care. Oh, it's good to see you. Later. Yeah. All right. I'm telling them about the paper you used to write now for the boat blessing. Oh, yeah. You know, we, we missed that, man. Yeah, we the don't, little. We don't have that no more. The little Bayou News. That's right. Yeah. Remember that, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah, plenty. Take care. All right, I think we pretty well got that covered. It's just uh, 
This is just an example of how people are just kind of coping with the flooding situation down here. Uh, it's uh, the land's going down a little bit, the water's coming up. Blame it on whatever you want to blame it on, global, whatever the heck it is, stuff is. But uh, the Cajuns down here in Jean Lafitte, they know what to do about it. <laughs>